Well, tomorrow will be the first day on the job for Lake County's new sheriff. Amy Reyes is only the second woman to be elected as a sheriff in state history, and she's got her work cut out for her. As Matt Kroschel explains, she's taken over a department in the middle of turmoil. Out of nine deputies up here in Lake County, there'll only be two working tomorrow when the sheriff is sworn in. Most of them leaving as a direct result of this heated political campaign for the sheriff's department top position. The sheriff's office also at the center of a sexual harassment lawsuit. It's a small community, but it polices like a larger community. For sure. Amy Reyes began her law enforcement career right here in Lake County. And there's been a lot of political things going on um, in light of some cases that have come up recently. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to throw my hat in the ring. She says she wants to clean house and regain community trust in the sheriff's office, something she believes is eroded. I want to change the way our organization is looked at by the public. Right now, I think there's a, some fear and apprehension in the community, so I want to change that. Following her election victory, Reyes got to work, hiring a new undersheriff and lieutenant from other Colorado agencies. Moving forward, some of the, the females have contacted me when their case is resolved. I'd like to hire them back. There's going to be some checks and balances put in place. So where this type of thing could never happen again. Reyes will have to lean on the Leadville police until she can hire more deputies at the department. Teamwork she hopes to build upon. And she has plans to get more community involvement, with transparency being her number one goal. It's going to take time. It's definitely going to take some time. Lake County's former undersheriff is in prison right now, convicted last year related to those uh, investigations involving sexual harassment here in Lake County. As for Reyes, she will be sworn in at a ceremony here tomorrow. Reporting in Lake County, Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First.